So the Department of Customs, as you know, recently launched a new app, and this app covers everything. You know, before we filled out that app, that uh, form to say what we spent and itemize it, etc. Well, it's all a lot easier, or so they say, on this new app, and 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 people have been, you know, getting used to it and warming up to it, and and but a lot of people obviously need to be walked through and have it explained and the department is going to do just that um, on this show for quite a few times and so we're happy to have them initially begin that process this evening here on Beyond the Headlines. Welcome to the show. It's so good to have these uh, IT officers of the department. We have Nadia Williams and Doyle Burroughs. Hello to both of you and welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Thank Shani. you for having us. Yes, absolutely. What has the response been? I know you're gonna you're gonna really kind of walk us through and give us a, a tutorial in a minute. But let's just talk about it's been already at least a month. Mm -hmm. um, what has the response been, and how has it been going? The response has been mostly positive. Of course, we have users that are having some issues on how to maneuver through the app. But since its launch, we have made a lot of updates to the app. And we're still continuing to make updates as we go. So we're listening to the Bahamian people and we're trying to make it more and more user friendly as we go. That sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. And so people, of course, this is the peak travel season. Mm -hmm. um, um, do you, have you noticed that uh, Doyle and of course Nadia, people are moving through quicker um, because of the app? Well, it depends. A lot of people come and they're not prepared. So they come and we assist them to complete the declaration. But this morning, I can brag a little, this morning we had at least 50% of the passengers land had their declaration okay. submitted. Yes. So that was very encouraging this morning. Uh -huh. So as time progresses, people are beginning to adapt. And I guess we have to continue the public relations so that they can know exactly how to use the app. So that was good. So you go, you all got um, um, a good idea of how it will work when 100% of people coming in already ha have submitted through the app before they even landed. How yes. this thing will look? Yes. Okay. Well, listen. Now, of course, I'll tell you they are so generous. Um, this is a first in a series of conversations here on this show. Um, I imagine they're doing it elsewhere as well. But on this show, where these two, because they, it's, it's really sort of their brainchild, along with, of course, the senior management of the IT department, that they have rolled this out. They are educating the public, and they are ensuring that we all have some kind of working knowledge of what, what needs to happen. And so take it over. Let's just walk through this and as easily and as simply as possible so that we have a good grasp of what, what needs to happen. Okay, so what we have done today is we have prepared a video to assist viewers on exactly how to register for the app. So the video should be playing on the screen shortly. And what, after you would have downloaded the app from your app store, mm -hmm. you will have to register. And the video shows you exactly okay, so how there, to register. The app, and the app is called Exempt. The app is called Exempt. So once you would have gotten into the app, you will click the bottom right side of the screen that reads sign up. We have to keep in mind that the sign up process is a one-time process. And one of the things that you would do, you will click the right side, you go ahead and, come and enter your first and last name, your email address and create a password. Choose your country of residence and your country of citizenship. Once you would have done that, at the bottom of the screen, there is the terms and conditions. You will click check that box and the privacy policy. You, you will check, check that, that well. box, yes. And there you go, sign up. Mm -hmm. After you would have done that, you are prompted to update your profile information. And so to complete the registration, you would have to click the top right where is the silhouette of a man. And once you get there, at the bottom, you will click update. How do you get your passport in there? I, I, once you, it, we're going to show you right now. So it's once so you scroll ahead. to the bottom and you click update, a video actually is, um, comes onto the screen and it prompts you with instructions on how to scan the passport. You can just bypass that video and you can click scan the passport and you are able to scan the complete picture page of your passport. So this is the picture, I think this is uh, yes. two or three. 
So yes. you've scanned that, and, and I, but I saw the outside of a passport. You would do that as well? No. Okay. You just need to scan the entire picture page of the passport, mm -hmm. and at the bottom there's an MRZ code, and that pulls basic information like your passport number, your NIB. date of birth, mm -hmm. um, NIB. and your NIB number. Of course, your address that you would have on your, you would have to enter your address because we're not sure if you're at the same address where you were when you applied for your passport. So you would update your address and all of that information, all the additional information, the address, your telephone number, and you go ahead and save. And that completes the registration process. Mm -hmm. okay. If you have kids, um, if you have kids that are 12 and under, you can actually scroll to the bottom of that same profile page mm -hmm. and you can click minor and you can scan the, the children's passport to add them to the adult's profile. Mm -hmm. Now that it is only registration. Sometimes it gets a little confusing because people will say, oh, I've already added them. You haven't added them to your declaration. You've only added them to the registration. Every user that is on the app is required to be registered. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the screen, this is how we add minors. It's at the bottom of the screen. There's a plus sign. You will go ahead, you will click the plus sign. And once you click the plus sign, you will see the camera loaded at the top of the screen again. You are able to scan the child's passport, and after you child's, scan the child's passport, you will go ahead and select the gender of the child, and you will save. The child's information in terms of address and telephone number will adopt the parent's information. Okay. So that would end the registration process. Okay, now, of course, because the, the, that's a lot. I need, I, yeah, okay, I'm going to need you all to walk me through my own. <laughs> this is a one-time process, the, the, and that is why there, there's become such a backup in the hall, because a lot of people are not, they don't know that, or, or sometimes they refuse to, mm -hmm. but we advise you to go ahead and register prior to you traveling. At least have the app on the phone, complete the registration complete process. That, yeah, because that, that so, makes it right, easy. Because right. then you have to, when you go to Macy's, right. yeah. then you go to Whole Foods. Because yeah. right? <laughs> so, that's, that's the right. thing right there. How do you get all of that in, in, in this? Okay, so what we're going to do, we also prepared another video of exactly how to um, create a C-17 declaration. Before we move on to the C-17 declaration, I just want to say, I just want to highlight one of the common problems that we have every day. A lot of times when persons begin to fill out the app and they complete the travel information, you would ask them, do you have anything to, to declare? The response would be, oh, I'm using my exemption. I don't have nothing to declare. Right. So you have to explain to them, in order for you to use your exemption, you have to make a declaration. So you still have to, to submit, go through everything, and then And then you would you use your exemption. Using your exemption. Right, because the exemption is actually applied to the amount that you would have spent. So if you traveled with $1,200 and you're going to use your exemption, we will deduct $500 from that $1,200, and the duty is calculated on the additional $700. Okay, so this process that we're going to walk you through is actually the C-17 declaration, which is the accompanied baggage declaration. And the first thing you would do once you get into the app, on the home page, at the top there is actually the image of the coat of arms. Under the coat of arms there, it reads Bahamas Digital Entry Card slash C-17 declaration. Once you get into the C-17 declaration, okay, there it goes, Bahamas Digital Entry Card, Form C-17, which is the accompanied baggage declaration. Once you click in there, your, the primary passenger information is shown on the screen. If you have additional passengers, at the bottom it reads, Add Passenger. You are able to add everyone that is in your household. So even though everybody is required to register, you still can submit one declaration. Oh, like, like I like that. Okay, you said everyone in the household. So if we all went on vacation together, right. you're trying to say make so one declaration. So mom, dad, and all kids can be added on this one declaration. Right, right. It's just a matter of everyone being registered. 
So everyone has to be registered. Each person, you, yes, you, you, yes, you, 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 registered. You, right, but, but one but declaration. you can have all of our yes, spending right, on your declaration. Right, on the right. declaration. And then at the option, um, when you're adding the passengers, you have the option of saying whether you're going to use the passenger's exemption okay. or not. So if it, the, uh, on the screen, it shows where you can add passengers so it's at the bottom of the screen. If you have additional passengers, you add them. If you don't, you will click next. And once you click next, oh, well, there you go. We're adding a passenger. You go ahead, you scan the passenger's passport because they would have already been registered. And this will bring up the information. Once the information is brought up, you will choose the relationship of the passenger to the primary user. And you will choose whether you're using the passenger's exemption or not. Once you would have done that, you will go ahead and save. And that will add this particular passenger to the declaration. If there was more than one, then you will continue that, repeat that. Right here on the screen is, a, is, a, is the basic travel information. And this information was on the paper form. This acts as basic information, the travel date, the airline that you came on, how many persons travel in the group, how many bags do you have, how long are you away for. So all of that basic travel information that was at the back of the C-17 form. It's just now that prior to the app, persons used to write their name and they would pass it on to the officer. The officer. And honestly, we are kind of to blame too because we would just accept the declaration with their names written on it and just, can just assist in whatever way that we can. But now with the app, you cannot bypass that. You have to fill out, you have to complete the travel information in order to get to the next step. Do you, if, if I want to go and um, somehow modify what it is I say I spent, uh, is that allowed in this app? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can modify how much you spent. As long as you haven't paid for the declaration, you can go and make um, Adjustments edits. As, yes. As edits. Yes, as, you can edit. As, as many as times you, as yes, possible. Yes, as many times as possible. Yeah. As long as you haven't paid, you can go ahead and you can make edits. So this seems pretty simple enough. I'm happy that you all are, are having this whole educational campaign because it's going to take a lot of repeating and going over and over again. Mm -hmm. And of course, we will try and get questions for the next time right. um, from uh, those the travelers, and which is everyone really, right. um, to be able to fully understand it. Mm -hmm. And so again, um, I have not downloaded it. It's very simple. So mm -hmm. you go in the, the Google Play mm -hmm. Store or the Apple oh. App Store and it's available for download. Yes, absolutely. I know people who traveled recently and they are commending you all because they're saying, listen, it, 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 yeah, a little adjusting and getting mm -hmm. used to, but not as bad as we thought. Right. I can, let me give you an example. A lot of times, persons their main concern is about the elderly. Mm -hmm. How is the elderly going to use the app? An example I can give on Saturday. I had an older lady, she came in. Before she left the country, her daughter mm -hmm. registered her for the app. She could, she kept the username and the password. And when her mom was in this, in Florida, she asked her mom to send her the pictures of the receipts. Mm. So at the when her when the lady landed on Saturday, her daughter had completed the app, submitted all of the invoices, and paid. So the only thing her mom did was take her passport and went to the went to the yeah, baggage corner awesome. for processing. Yes. So there are and that's, ways. And that's such a nice help for our, because mm -hmm. you know, at the end, the, 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 the more mature among us, mm -hmm. they sometimes do have, man, listen, if the rest of us is have issues sometimes. <laughs> right. Even, you know, like you, you, so it's good that, that they can be helped that way. Right. And also be walked through. It's, it, I really want to commend the Department of Customs to take this time out and walk the entire country mm -hmm. through this app, how right. to use it, how to register step by step, step by step, and to get registered and to ensure that we, um, that we all are as, as, as tech savvy and moving forward with the times, <laughs> you laugh, Nadia, right. as we all need to, because obviously this is the direction in which you all are headed. Right. So, yeah. And I, I can honestly say that the app that you would have seen on June 12th is mm -hmm. not the app that you would have seen today. Mm -hmm. We introduced a base product in June. And if you look into the app today, you will see that there have been several updates. Mm -hmm. And we are continually updating the app so that it becomes easier for persons to use. 
you know, as Facebook or any other app, when it first initially came out, we had a base product. Things that we are able to do on Facebook now, we could not do in 2009. Mm -hmm. But as time go by, goes by, it develops and it becomes easier and more interesting and has more features. Mm -hmm. So this app is no different. We gave you a base product and we are continuously working. We're taking suggestions because we are constantly on the floor at the airport assisting passengers. So as we get, um, as we get reports from passengers or give, or we got suge get suggestions from passengers, we take that to mind. We go ahead and we discuss it and we pass it on to developers and see how we can have it implemented into the app. I also wish to say at this time that um, we are here. We are, we are in this together. If persons need assistance, mm -hmm. please, we're at the airport. You can reach out, reach out to us at Customs House, call the IT department. We will walk you through mm -hmm. on how to register and download if you wish. All right, so we're in this together. That's, that's good. Mm -hmm. I, I, again, very helpful um, because not many of us are extra, uh, tech savvy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. even, even, even if you think you know a bit about something, mm -hmm. it just looks a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. Now. Does this mean that you still have to kind of, you know, look through people's luggage and see what they bought and how they bought and, and if indeed they are being honest? Yes, we do. You still have to do that? We, we, we do. But I will say we are also introducing express lines for persons with uh, two pieces of luggage or less. We are also introducing a handicap line because mm. we realize that persons are uh, sometimes stuck on a line behind a big traveling group with two trolleys of luggage, and they're trying to get out of there. Even the elderly, that's good. I like, elderly. I like the express line, mm. and then of course the special lines mm. for um, um, the elderly or, or handicapped, mm. because you're right, they are, sometimes they're huge groups mm -hmm. with, with a ton of luggage, mm -hmm. and then trying to wait on more luggage to come, and you exactly. are stuck right there like this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> right. So speak to the people as we, because of course you all return next week mm -hmm. yes. uh, with part two right. of, of, of this, great tutorial really and this new customs app that was introduced mm -hmm. and, and just again to get the country educated to get us all moving in the in the same direction and to understand that this is really for our benefit and makes traveling easier and certainly navigating the airport when you return a lot easier but uh, I give you each an opportunity for a, a closing comment. Okay, we would just like to say register again the app is also for your benefit it saves your invoices, it's paperless, you can pay online. So it has a lot of benefits for everyone involved, not just customs. I also want to say that the videos that we showed are available on YouTube and Facebook. And you can follow us on Facebook at TCED242 or you can search us on YouTube at Bahamas Customs. All the instructional videos are there and we are constantly producing literature every week on our Facebook page. We thank you for cooperating with us. Yes, and we thank you uh, um, for, for moving us along <laughs> with the times and, and also walking us through and holding our hands to ensure that we get it. That's really so generous of you. Thank you very much. Again, the, the IT department and the Department of Customs, uh, the people here along with, and, and your, your boss who always accompany you all, what's her name? Joyce McKenzie. Joyce McKenzie, yeah, mm -hmm. taskmaster, but 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 you know, with with great intentions mm -hmm. and to get the job done right. Um, I thank you both very much. Of course, uh, Joyce McKenzie and Nadia Williams and Doyle Burrows, the team really behind this new app, the team behind moving the Department of Customs forward, forward this year and beyond, and doing amazing things and and keeping us along right alongside them as well. Thank you.